Hi guys, it's your girl here, Love in the City. Welcome to my channel today. If you're a new subscriber, thanks for subscribing and hello to all my day ones. Hope you guys are staying safe out in the world. Well, I just jumped on here to share with you uh, a wig I purchased off of eBay. I was kind of skeptical, but it looked pretty good. And um, I decided to go ahead and take the plunge and order it. So let me share it here with you guys. Um, let's see if I can reach here. Try not to get in the camera. I'm trying to let her be the show. I will let you see this unit on me. So I'm trying to just let her have the moment. So check it out, guys. Look at this. You can wear this like a mohawk look. Or you can put it in a bun. Or you can just wear it loose like this. As you can see. Let me see if I can pan down a little bit. She can count along. She's like 26, 24, 26 inches long. Let's see, maybe if I come back a little bit. Sorry for moving the camera around. And you guys can kind of see the gist of things. Also, if you're interested in this mannequin, this is TMX this is mannequin and display. I got this off of Amazon. And as you can see, you can put it on um, a wig stand if you have one. Okay, back to the unit. All right. She has an elastic band on. This wig was custom made. And I'll, bought, I'll put in the description bar below uh, who I bought it from on eBay. Now, if you cannot find this wig, don't come messaging me to about you can't find this wig. Sorry, I don't have a link. But, you know, there may be others that you like. <laughs> so, you yeah. know. Let me show you what's going on up under here, neath here though, but that's an elastic cap on that. And uh, as you can see, uh, they just sporadically, you know, got the braids in to cover up. I had no problem, but I think what I'm going to do is I do know how to braid. I just don't want to take the time and energy that it goes into. Um, making these type of wigs but um i am capable of going in and uh if you get one you want to fill in yourself all you gotta do is instead of buying a nylon bonding thread you just buy the cotton and you just go in with the needle pull a thread about so long and then you put your braiding hair in there and you just braid it down and dip it in the hot water okay and that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go back in and fill those spots in because you know I don't want to be subconscious I want to be free and if I move you're not gonna see cap but overall it's a great wig it's not heavy it's actually light and it's got a lot of braids in it to keep everything covered and here are the ends this is a human wig but of course you know I'm gonna go in with the uh, coniculon hair uh, if I can, I'm going to do it with the pre-stretch and just go in and fill in the braids. In fact, I've already ordered some hair. I'm just waiting on Amazon to deliver it to me. And then I'm just going to go in and fill in the gaps. But that's not a whole lot of gaps. So it should only take me an hour or so to fill in those gaps. Uh-oh, almost pulled off the thing. Okay, here she is. She's wearing my arm out from the side. That's your side view. Oh, let me show you how it will look if you had it to the side and then the back was just showing like that. And then of course you got your other side here. And you can wear it on either side. You can wear it on this side. You can flip it on that side, whatever side is preferable for you. Yeah, let's give it a little pull here. There we go. 
my cap is my my mannequin head she's like 21 inches because I'm 21.5 so I got a little slack on it for the wigs and all but that's okay that's okay all right guys so there you go and next I'll let you guys see how it looks on me oh and also I'm gonna be sharing with you um, the uh, wig caps and so let me just move her out of the way and then I'm gonna share the wig caps that I purchased from Amazon as well okay I'll be right back guys okay guys here it is this is what I look like with this braided wig that I purchased from eBay so let me step back a little bit so you guys can see it's really long I think it's about 26 inches long I don't have my camera up high enough um I'm 5'6 and it's hidden right at the top of my butt <laughs> so that gives you an idea where it hits but it's really cute I decided to do it a different way I saw this, this is actually not my thought. I actually saw this on another braided wig that I was looking at. And uh, I've been wearing it down, or either it looks like a mohawk if I let it down. But as you saw in a mannequin before, that's how I usually wear it. But today I was out running errands and I said, let me jump on real quick so you guys can see me. Cause I know you haven't seen your girl in a minute, this pandemic whatever okay but yeah I know I'm looking over here in the viewfinder I'm so sorry but yeah it looks pretty realistic if I can get up kind of close on you don't want to be all up in your face but that's your girl right there okay all right guys so I hope you like this short haul that I uh Decided to jump on and give you guys to know a lot of you haven't seen me in a minute, but you know, things is going on in the world. But I hope everyone is safe and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hey guys, here is this cap as promised. This is one of those new velcro caps, velvet caps, and it's already got the lace on, so you just throw your wig on, especially if you have a middle part. I don't know if you could twist it as a side part. I don't know, maybe. But um, here it is. It's velvet all the way around, and it's like a soft, thin cap here, so you know you're not gonna be sweating. I don't think it would be, or I would be. And then there's a Velcro that you can attach. And I don't know the name brand of the seller right off, but you know, everything will be in the description box below for you to read, or should I say in the description below for you to read. And also, I went ahead and took some out of, let's see if I can come back some, so I should close. I went ahead and I took two out of the packaging and this is one as well is uh, this one has the elastic and the strap and you got your lace and then you got your lace here for your frontal like if you got one for a frontal and so I would wear that with my like everyday wig that I wear if it had a middle part or something like that or like I said maybe it's I don't know if they have one for side parts but you know who knows what you can do with that and that's that and I have another one that's dark brown and it's a little wider it's like a version of that without the cap and you got your lace I washed it looks like it's trying to stain I may need to wash it again um, but yeah that's the front and then there's the velcro where you can adjust and also in my little haul, I have a pair of scissors here 
that I purchased that I bought to cut on the lace off my wigs when I read them. I keep my hair in a 1920 pixie bob. I just like that. It's like timeless, timeless. That's how I usually wear my hair. In fact, I think I'll put a picture at the end so you can see how I usually wear my hair. But I'm rocking the wigs now for a while. And here are some straps that I bought, some elastic um, to, I guess I said, well, I was getting ready to say elastic wig caps, but some elastic that you can sew on to your wig caps and then you can adjust it however you need to adjust it. Five of these came in a pack, one, two, three, four, five. I have five of these in a pack. And I'll make sure you get the information on those as well. I normally make my own little wigs. And um, they're pretty custom. But, you know, uh, there's occasion. Like, I've been ordering. I've ordered a couple more braided wigs. So, you never know how they may come. I have a small head. My circumference, again, is 21.5. And so, sometimes they come a little loose. So... Here's one right here that has the name on it. I bought two of these. This is Blizzard Hair. And this is the wig cap with lace on it. It's a 4x4. Four four. So here you go. You got your 4x4 four four lace wig cap. You can keep the lace on or you could cut it off however you want to do that. And there's the side. You got your little elastic strap. And then here, you can order them in small, medium, or large. Like I said, I have a small head, so I got a small. So I just got these to just make me like a little bob. So, you know, I'll do that. And also, even if I make a long one, I'll use the other one as well. And let's see. I have the regular spandex cap. Dome caps, I always use these. This is the Q-Fit. Always use these. I have two of these. And then I have one more to show you. Don't know the name of this one. But they give you a little gift. They give you needles. They give you combs. I don't use combs because I'm a severe migraine sufferer. So I can't have anything digging in my skull or my head. That would be the end for you, girl. Now this one I got just to make. Uh, you know, one of those wigs that don't have a... a Oh, there I go dropping it. Hold on, guys. Hopefully I don't knock the camera over. Uh, just to make like a little, just a little bob, a little wig, a little, actually it's just a little short pixie wig. I don't normally wear those, but I can't ever find any I like, so I said, I think I'm going to try and make it on my own. And that's a small, as you can see. I like it that it doesn't have a whole lot of, um you call it like long straps I like that the elastic straps are short so I don't have to do a whole lot of adjusting on this and then I'll just make my wig and of course I won't have to cut this because I'll just be making one of those pixie wigs that doesn't have the scalp lace closure that just have you know it'll just have like the little round hair closure Okay, guys, I hope you like my quick and short little haul that I got for some hair products. And I'll see you guys later. Take care. Bye.